I'm not playing bar chords, I promise. It looks like bar chords, but it's not. I'll explain when you're older, or I'll explain in this video. Bags by Claro. This is my favorite song of the day. It's so stuck in my head, you guys. It reminds me of the bad lip reading, sinking, well. Bad lip reading song, Bushes of Love. And I mean that as a total compliment to both songs. Standard guitar, standard tuning, play it on electric, play it on acoustic, I don't care. Pointer finger, second fret on the top string. Ring finger, fourth fret, second string from the top. Pinky, fourth fret, third string from the top. These are the only three notes we really need. It's just this power chord going on, this F sharp power chord. However, I recommend you take your middle finger, put it on the third fret of the the uh, third string from the bottom. Took me a second to figure that out. F major chord. We, we're gonna always aim for the top two or three strings, but every once in a while, we might hit an extra string or two, and then we'll hear that nice, beautiful note in there. It's a nice little touch. And I believe when Clara plays it live, she holds this bar chord like this. This F major bar chord, guys. Guys, this song doesn't have a lot to it. It should be quick. This should be so quick. If this video ends up being over eight minutes long, I have no excuse. If it's over eight minutes long, I want you guys to go, Stuart is a silly, silly boy. Why doth thou hath taken so long in the comments? But if it's under eight minutes long, then you're gonna go into the comments and go, the, the timing of this video was impossible. Okay, this looks like a bar chord, right? It must be a bar chord. I must've been lying earlier. No, I wasn't lying. My pointer finger is pushing on the top string, but I'm not pushing down here on the bottom. I'm not smashing down there. All I'm doing is just trying to touch those bottom couple strings, just to mute them. I want them muted. With the bar chord, we want them ringing. We don't want that. We don't want to hear those bottom two strings at all. So on this chord, we're gonna strum one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen strums down. However, we want to accent some of them. We want to go like soft, soft, loud, soft, 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 loud. Boom, 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 back, boom, 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 back, boom, 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 back, boom, 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 back. It can be subtle. You don't have to go like. You can just go like. The way I do that is on the quiet ones, I'm just aiming for the top string, and then on the loud ones, I'm aiming for like two or three strings. I'm going. Sounds great. Let's just play just that one chord. All 16 counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I recommend not counting to 16, count to eight two times. After that, you're gonna take the same chord shape. You're gonna slide it one, two, three, four frets up. So now your pointer finger's on six, ring finger's on eight, pinky's on eight, Middle finger is on s Oh wait, I was close. I almost led you all astray. You wanna get rid of your middle finger, guys. We want the bottom three strings just to be muted. If you want, you can make a bar chord of this one and smash down on the sixth fret. I don't do that though, that's too much work. I just have six, eight, eight, mute, mute, mute. Okay, but you do have to get rid of your middle finger. If you keep your middle finger there, we're screwed. We're all gonna die. This chord, you're just gonna strum eight times. And then we slide this over one, two frets back. So now we're on four, six, and six. Put your middle finger back. So your middle finger is gonna go to five on the third string for the bottom. Eight strums on this one. Boom, boom, back, boom, boom, back. And then we start it all over. So it sounds a little something like this. One, and two, and bing, bang, boo, and. Before we learn the little solo thing that goes like. I don't know why I'm playing on acoustic. I just am. Give me a break. I'm feeling very sensitive today. Please stop making fun of me. A couple little tips on the bar chords down here. They're not bar chords. Get your act together. When you have to switch chords, instead of going like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switching right there, start switching on the eighth strum. Here's what I mean by that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. See, I started moving back on that eighth strum. Listen, 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 listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 
anymore. You can do that. You can sacrifice that eighth strum to keep it going. Keep the rhythm going, but you don't need to actually strum the chord eight full times. Listen to the recording. You can hear, you can hear that little as she's switching chords. It's great. It's so much fun. I sit there and just listen to it for hours. Okay, we're getting very close to the eight minute mark. So, oh, and one more little thing I want to say. On that first chord, every once in a while, if you want to be fancy and you feel like stretching, you can bring your pinky up to the sixth fret. You probably, if you do that, you want to use your middle finger for the fourth fret. This chord here, that sneaks its way in in the recording every once in a while. So it's like, Oh, you hear that? But it's kind of a pain. I played the wrong chord just then. Ignore that. Ignore, ignore this. Let's learn the solo. This is gonna be brutal on the acoustic guitar. Starts on the 18th fret of the bottom string. We go 18, then 16 on the bottom. Then on the second to bottom, we go 18, 19, 16. So that was 18, 16 on bottom, 18, 19, 16 on the second to bottom. It sounds like a lot of years. Declaration of Independence. Ba, 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 ba. So good. Then go to 18 on the second from the bottom, and then 15 on the third from the bottom. So now we've got ba, 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 ba. two, three, four. Ba, ba, bo, ba, bo, ba, bo. Then it's gonna be 19 on the second to bottom. That's, which sounds like kind of a wrong note, but it's the coolest note of the whole thing. Then 17 on the third from the bottom. And then we go 18 on the third from the bottom, 18 on the second from the bottom. So that was like this. Listen to that rhythm again. It's fast, 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 slow, fast, fast. So I can't, I don't know, that fast, slow thing was not working out. Just, just listen to my rhythm a million times. Just do what I did. Just be, just uh, be me. All right, so they do that once, then they, they act like they're gonna do it again. They go. So all that is exactly the same, up to that 19 on the second to bottom string. Then you go to 17 on the third string from the bottom, then play 18 on the third string from the top, and then 18 on the second string from the bottom. So that goes like this. And that's the little solo we've got. Guys, that's all I got for you today. Honestly, it's gonna be really close to that eight minute mark.